Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Bob Calvert again, talking with Heroes.com. Thank you for your service.us. And we're here at the Freedom Service Dogs of America, 30th year anniversary, and their grand opening celebration. Uh, it's Freedom Service Dogs of America, freedomservicedogs.org, members of r4alliance.org. And we're now inside the main building um, where the, the kennels are, and we're just going to kind of um, Anthony's in front of me here. We're going to kind of walk around, and he's going to film as we go around here. So we're, what he just filmed is like, a, it's almost like, reminds me of a nurse's station. Um, it's, it's obviously, you can see it's pretty, pretty large. There's a lot of people here. Uh, why don't you get this on the film right here, Anthony? Right here is a big star you'll see, and it's some of their sponsors up here being thanked. Okay. Let's go down the hallway here. Along as we're going, there's different offices. And this is so different than last year when we were out here. As a matter of fact, if you're on our YouTube page, uh, go to the playlist and go to the Freedom Service Dogs of America 2016, and you'll see what their location was uh, for years. And this is like huge, huge development for being able to help get more veteran service dogs across America. There's a Veteran walking with her service dog. That's the number associated with your card, so I don't know how to tell you that I want to change it. I just hit send on that. Yeah, it'll go to the website. Okay, so that's the number. Okay, so you should get a letter from the Maryland Dogs Association. Hi. Hi. Do you want to come say hi, Rook? Come say hi. There we go. Oh, sure. Just a minute. Okay. Okay, uh, so we're going to back up here for a second. Um, we're going to be talking to a lady, actually, we were talking uh, a few minutes ago um, about last year's trip to their old location. And uh, one of the ladies that I interviewed there, I just we were just passing, and she's inside this office here. So uh, we're going to be talking with her in just a second. And folks, like I said, we were passing by an office here, and I looked in, and here's Sarah Galassini, who I interviewed last year with Keith, my son-in-law. And this is just amazing. But for people that didn't see you last year, tell them a little bit about yourself. Oh, about me? Um, so I've been with Freedom Service Dogs now for almost nine years. Um, I'm our placement training director. So um, I kind of handle things on the later half. So um, helping the trainers out with sort of their, their finishing tasks, making sure the dogs are ready to go out. Um, helping with placement, organizing our placement classes for our clients, um, helping with some of the follow-up training, sort of that later half side of things. Okay, and last year when I was out there, you had what, two buildings or three? Uh, so we had, I mean, technically it was one building, and then we had what we call our barn, which was our isolation building. Um, <laughs> here, I don't know if you've had a chance to do the full tour yet. No, I'm hoping somebody will take us on it so we can Oh, great. It. Yeah. And they narrate. Yeah, so we have an isolation area um, that's part of the same building, but it's got its own air intake. So, um, you know, the, the dogs aren't sharing air with our healthy dogs. So is this building, this whole move in process when I was here last year? Because I think I heard about it. But yeah, so we moved in October. Okay. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> this is a very large building. I mean, you could probably put your old office many, many times. Oh, time. yeah. Like maybe 20 or 30 or more. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you saw our training room before. The new one? No, no old our one. old yeah, one. Up in the old right. So our old training room had a set of stairs to go up it. So you can imagine we couldn't hold placement classes up there because half of our clients couldn't get up the, 
you know, stairs into our training space. Um, so we used to have to hold our placement classes off site. Now we've got this giant room upstairs um, as our training room. And we've got another very large room that um, is our classroom. And so we'll do like the book work and, and that side of things um, in the classroom and then utilize the large training space for, you know, holding not just our placement classes, but regular training, um, positive connection classes, which are the classes with our at-risk youth, um, you know, volunteer classes, just all sorts of things. It's, sure. it's been amazing. <laughs> So we can go out there later and oh, yeah. somebody give us <laughs> hold the mic and oh yeah. <laughs> Good. So what's happening here today? So today um, we are, it's, it's kind of twofold. So it's um, an open house celebrating our new move and our 30th anniversary. Great. So are you going to have some people, veterans here that have service dogs already? Oh, yeah. I've or seen a few of our clients around. I've managed to wave to them. Um, <laughs> it's been so busy with people coming and going. I haven't had too much time to, you know, really sit and, and chat with anybody um, yet. But I'm going to go around and mingle a bit. We've got a lot of awesome clients that are here. Great. So for people watching and they may be interested, maybe they, they think they could be helpful with a service mm -hmm. dog. Maybe a family member does. Mm -hmm. What would they do? Um, yes, best thing to do is go to our website. So that's www.freedomservicedogs.org. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any particular links or just look around? I would go there. Um, there's a few different spots on there. Um, I think the very top, there's a, a little button that says something about our dogs. That's a good place to start. So you go there. Um, there's different ways to um, find the application. Great. Mm -hmm. And there's also a frequently asked questions um, portion um, that's on that same area where you fill out the application. So if you have questions on, you know, am I eligible, um, what to expect with applying for a dog, anything like that, um, those questions should ask that. Or, um, you know, call um, and talk to one of us and, and we'd be able to help you. So. Um, our number, in case anybody wants that, is 303-922-6231. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. This Anytime. Yeah, anything we can do, anything <laughs> we can do as I can, we want to help. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Well, folks, you've been watching here on TalkingWithHeroes.com. Thank you for your service. Us here at the Freedom Service Dogs of America, FreedomServiceDogs.org, a 30th year anniversary and open house. Uh, Anthony Scott, Iraq, Afghanistan veteran, Colorado National Guardsman, behind the camera. Please share these videos. Um, get them out to everybody you can, especially people you know that could be helped by having a service dog. Thank you.